Living in Los Angeles, I go to a pretty upscale hair salon. It's called Supercuts. I one day decided to walk there to get a little trim, and on the way, I uh, noticed a flyer stapled to a telephone pole for a lost cat. It was black and white, um, named Oreo. I don't know about you, but I always try to stop for those, thinking that maybe somehow, some way, I've seen the animal. Never happened. So I didn't pay much attention. I mean, I was probably there at the flyer for about 10 seconds before I moved on and re-obsessed over my own thoughts and dramas of the day. So I got my hair cut, I got a quick coffee bean, and then headed home in a slightly different way than the way I came. About a block away from my apartment, I noticed something in the gutter of the street. It was a pile of fur. It was black and white. I didn't make the connection. I just kept walking. That's how little I was paying attention to the world. But I finally remembered the flyer, and I thought, no way. I went over to the pile of fur and I took a good look at it. It was the same cat, and it was dead. Now, if you've seen my older videos, you know that I am cursed with a sense of social responsibility. Thanks, Dad. And I knew the right thing to do was to contact the owner of Oreo and let that person know. So I called the number and I got a voicemail. Hey, it's Carrie. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Have a great day. And my message kind of went like this. Hey, my name's Matt. I was just in the neighborhood, then I noticed your flyer, and then on my way back home, I actually, um, suddenly I realized something. I was about to give this person very sad news. News that would come from a strange voice on a recording that maybe she would get after a long day at work. Also, in this moment, I remembered the phone call that I got in college, letting me know that my cat that I had had since the fourth grade had just been mauled by a stray dog. So after this long, strange pause in the message, I gave her the news, and I also gave her the address where she could find the body of Oreo. And that should have been it. I mean, I, I should have hung up, but I couldn't shut up. I bet he was really somebody special to you. Well, on to his next of the nine lives. You know what I mean? It's almost like I remember him myself. Is that weird? Remember when he was a kitten? I would hide in the shoebox and, and kind of pounce on your hand all of a sudden. How in bed he would he would curl up in the crook of your neck and kind of make bread on, on your hair. Oh God, Oreo, what a friend. He will be missed. That's for damn sure. Finally, I snapped out of it. Thanks, bye. And that was that. I never knew if, if I helped in any way, but I did notice that the next day Oreo's body was gone and the flyer was taken down. And as embarrassing as the message probably sounded, I'd like to think that I did about as good as a stranger could or, or would, especially in a big city. So let's raise a glass of iced tea or vodka or apple juice to Oreo, to Cuddles, and to your long lost furry friend.